lovely little pockets in order to put things in and we'll show you the bottom later. It makes lovely golden crest with little dimples in it. There we go. Dough is formed. All right, so we're going to start a fire in the wood oven now. We put a little fire on of kindling just to heat the bricks up a bit and let them know what's coming. It doesn't really matter what wood you use, as long as it'll burn. There we go. We have fire. Close this door. Open up the air. And let that go for about 15 minutes. Okay, now it's warmed up. We're going to put in the real wood. And it'll heat up in about an hour, hour and a half. There we go. Nice pond. Yeah, we just put goldfish in there to eat the mosquitoes, and now the heron eats the goldfish. So good, it's a good plant. Ah, down through here? Yeah, yeah, we go this way. These are gorgeous. What are these? Clematis. Clematis, uh, Jack Manny. Whoops. Lovely. <laughs> okay. On to Lydia's studio. Any organic shape, and when it cools, it it stays there, which I find so amazing. I feel really fortunate that I've found something in life that I I love to do, and I'm very fortunate also that at the end of the day I can go home to a great focaccia. <laughs> Now it's time to decorate the focaccia. We've got some sliced tomatoes, peppers, garlic spears in olive oil. We've got some fresh thyme, anchovies. They're not to everybody's taste, but they sure are good little devils. I, I don't know how they fish for them. I'm going to show you how to catch an anchovy. To catch an anchovy, you've got to have the right bait. I like to start with a nice fresh head of a romaine or lettuce. I like to tear it. Don't cut. You tear the lettuce. Then we get some good fresh vinaigrette. Pour a little of that. Then you make sure you add a, a good squeeze of a lemon just to get the right taste that the anchovies really like. Then I'm going to use a olive oil and I like the extra virgins. But I put in a, a good amount of olive oil. Then we're going to use uh, some eggs. We put in some nice fresh egg. 
And then we're going to put in the Worcestershire sauce. sauce. And we put in a Worcestershire, and that makes it get a special taste of anchovies like so much. And then, last but not least, you add the Parmesan. You gotta put in a lots of Parmesan. Now, don't be cheap. Use a good Parmesan. Because they really like the Parmesan. And that's it. You have anchovies jumping in your barrel in no time at all. So we're just going to push it out into the ocean and in pretty soon I'm going to have a whole bucket full of anchovies. Oh, come on anchovies! Okay, we're going to dimple this loaf now. This is the last time we've kneaded it. We've dimpled it once. It's just, it goes on and on like government work, but this is the, the last time. Now we're putting the toppings on. First the little garlic spears. I like to push them into the dimples. A sprinkle of thyme. And then those famous anchovies. We break them up and put them on. And they're not for everybody, but we'll uh, leave a spot on there for those who don't like it. Now for some color. We're going to put some nice red peppers, thinly sliced, very thin slices of tomato. You don't want to make the focaccia wet. Now, olives, got to have them. Little cut in half, push lightly into the crust. A sprinkle of sea salt. And to finish it all off, lots of olive oil. This is the secret. You want a nice, crispy, oily crust. This golden crust. Beautiful. Brick ovens have been used for cooking for hundreds of years. Fires are built up on the bricks and then shoveled out. And the residual heat radiates back out of the bricks and allows you to cook your food right on the bricks. Coals get shoveled out and most times they get used for grilling in the top of the stove. When you first shovel it out, the stove is very hot and we have to let it mellow a little bit and cool off. And put in the grill, close the doors, we'll go into the house and when we come back it'll be the perfect temperature for cooking our focaccia. I'm getting hungry, Tim. How much time have we got? It'll be about 20 minutes, Lee. What goes well with the focaccia? Oh, I like a full-bodied Italian myself. We're talking wine? We're talking wine. You know, I've always wondered about the history of red wine. Drink! Juice. Interessant. Woman, drink, drink that wine juice. Mm. Mm.